Only four days to go until the 31st Olympiad. It seems even the greatest show on earth isn't untouched by domestic politics. The suspended Brazilian president, Dilma Rousseff, says she will not attend the opening ceremony of the Games because she doesn't play second fiddle to the interim leader. While our correspondent, Julia Carnero, is in Rio for us. Julia. Emily, yes, the president, uh, suspended president of Brazil, Juma Rousseff, has been talking to the BBC. The Olympics are happening in a year of lots of political turmoil in the country with President Juma Rousseff having been suspended to face impeachment trial here and a bit of a huge economic crisis in the country as well. Her impeachment trial is expected to res resume in the days after the Olympics and there was some mystery about whether well, how she was going to deal with that, in most of her mandate, she was the president presiding over the preparations of the Olympics, and now she's the suspended president. Well, she's been talking to the BBC about how she's facing this moment. The system political is corrupted, not only. Brazil's political system is corroded, with 35 fragmented parties with no clear platform and created purely for horse trading. We need to recreate our political and electoral system. I count on going back to the presidency, and I will be remembered not only as the first female president of Brazil, but also the one who defeated a coup and restored democracy in my country. Delma Russo speaking there. Julia, in Brazil itself, do most people feel that she's been unfairly treated or do they believe that she may be corrupt? Well, the country is very polarized still, Emily, on this matter. Uh, and people are very split. There are many who have, uh, in the last past months, protested calling for the impeachment of President Juma Rousseff, not necessarily because she, they think they're corrupt, but mostly because they think her government was inefficient and led to the economic crisis that we are now facing. But you, you have other people that uh, defend her government and say that what's happening in Brazil at the moment, well, they compare it to a coup. They say that Political forces, political elites have united against the president and against the Workers' Party. And yesterday in Rio, in, in Brazil, and several different states, there were protests, not very large, but with these different sides, some calling for the impeachment to go forward and some defending the president. Julia, thank you very much. Julia Carnero in Rio for us.